Want to know how I created that complete order button? Let's get started. First, we'll make a rectangle and set the dimensions and then adjust the round corner to 10. Now type anything that you want your button to be. I will write complete order because I want a button of complete order. Place the text inside the button and apply auto layout. Let me um, adjust the padding. Oh, perfect, there you go. Rename the frame if you want to. Here, I'll rename it to button. Now for loading notation, we will select ellipse. Now adjust the radius, click and drag to left. I have adjusted the radius around to 77 value. For coloring, we will click on the gradient and select angular. Reduce the size and place it inside the button. Make sure to duplicate the button first. We will duplicate the second frame 2-3 to three times and in each we will rotate the loader 90 degrees. So in the last frame, we'll replace the loader with a check mark and switch the completed order to completed. Now select all the frames and click component set. Now let's prototype it. I will slow down the process so that you can clearly see the arrangements and settings that I make in proto setting. And our completed button is ready. Do like, share and follow my YouTube channel. I will come up with more exciting videos. Stay connected.